can't resist showing this off, but welcome to the EEPROM 9. And we have the reel-to-reel -reel tape player for the supercomputer, who's currently not hooked up to the power supply because... He is. And we've also done, for the bottom, which is going to be visible for a grill, some valves. These are both dead. That one's had its nipple knocked off, and this one's just mysterious lost, mysteriously lost its uh, vacuum over the decades. And we stuck two orange LEDs in the bottom to give them a nice, subtle orange glow. None of that blue LED rubbish in valves. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Put orange or yellow LEDs on the bottoms of the valves. And we have this rather lovely beast, which we'll just turn the power off so you can see the reels, which I 3D printed. I designed and 3D printed them last night. They're super tiny. Here they are in size comparison to a micro cassette, because that's a micro cassette drive mechanism there. And there is the circuit that's driving it. And as a bo extra bonus, because we want flashy lights, we have arrow LEDs, which will point the direction the tape is running, which I'm gonna, which are on solid wire, so I can just bend them into place. But yeah, I um, did it from uh, my favourite. The circuit is from my favourite book ever, because I just wanted a simple one to do a um, so circuit a uh, junk bot bug box bots on wheels nice simple schematic there's like basically like five or six total mandatory components in that you need two diodes which in this case which normally would be light sensors but i use standard four 1007 diodes because they were just the first that came to hand the chip and two capacitors, and then I did the uh, resistors and LEDs optional because I want to have them poking out and indicating the way the tape's going, you know, like a real tape computer would have, not that we're going too real. I mean, let's be honest, a real tape real wouldn't have a real to real this small. And then the DC motor and all that good jazz. But I love the way this one does the circuit schematics. It does it how I do it. And look at the capacitors. They've been labelled with their stupid code so you know what capacitors you're looking for. I hate this capacitor code system. Quick rant here. But it's impossible to fucking understand, especially when you're dyslexic. Another thing that's really nice about how they do circuit layouts in here is the chip's pinout matches its real-world chip pinout. This is fantastic. It makes building the circuit so much easier because you don't have to convert it from pretend airy fairy pretend land layout to real world layout and it makes that and it makes less brain power actually configuring how to connect all like these chips which are you know that should be and yes the chip designers should definitely give more care on their pinouts rather than some of the random ass pinouts where you've got outputs and inputs just sort of merrily randomly scattered around the chip rather than inputs on one side, outputs on the other. Uh, we, we, need, we need a few people with dyslexia to go through like circuit schematics and just fix all the annoying quirks like this and change the rules and also kill conventional current. I fucking hate conventional current because it's bullshit. It's been proven to be bullshit. Anyway, rant's over. Nice simple circuit to make the tape go back and forth, back and forth. So I've basically completed the electronics portion of it. And now I just need to get on the laptop and design the case. And I think I'm going to paint it as well. You know, give it those sort of cool colours that a lot of the mainframes have. Maybe like orange, a light baby blue, maybe like bright orange and grey, a light grey grey and then metal colour on the grill that be that the valves sit behind all that good jazz but anyway thanks for watching and i will this is my holy bible we pray to this book <laughs> as you can see it's incredibly well read it's like one of the few books i've just read over and over again because it's just so awesome Th this really kicked off like my learning of electronics back in the day